How to customize Shopify craft theme. My name is Elias and in this video I'm going to show you how you can actually customize the Shopify craft theme within Shopify. And by the way, even if you are a complete beginner, I can assure you guys that by the end of this video you will actually know how to get started creating a good looking store over on Shopify using the craft theme. So to get started you will just have to head over to your Shopify dashboard, then you will have to go to online store on the left. And right here, once this is going to be loading up, you will have to click on add theme and then on visit theme store. This is going to be redirecting you to the Shopify theme store where you have tons of different free themes that you can choose from. So just select free right here. And the craft theme is one of the free themes. So just select the craft theme and then click on try theme. And like this, the craft theme will actually be added onto your Shopify store. Now, this process usually takes one to two minutes until it's finished and until it's actually installed onto Shopify. So I will quickly just wait. And once it got added, it will appear like this. So basically it will say just added and to actually activate the craft theme, you will just have to click on publish on the right. And like this, it is actually going to be added onto your live store and you can then customize it. So to customize it, you will have to go on the right, just click on customize. And now we can get started customizing the Shopify craft theme. We're going to go through this from top to bottom. So no worries, everything is going to be step by step. Now to get started right here on top, we actually have the announcement bar. So as you can see, once we're going to select the announcement bar, this on the left is going to show up and we can then edit everything the way we want to. For example, we can change the color scheme right here. So we can, for example, change the color of the announcement bar. However, we'll just leave it at the default scheme, which is going to be scheme four. Now to actually edit the text on the announcement bar, you will have to head back and then you will just have to select this right here and then you can basically add anything you like to like for example minus 20% off until Sunday and then basically this is just going to promote our products and is going to add scarcity so that's where basically one way how you can use the announcement bar and one other useful feature which the announcement bar and basically all of the Shopify buttons text and so on allows you to do is to link this with different kind of things. So let's for example say that I want to link this announcement bar right here with a collection, for example with the glassware collection and now whenever someone is going to click onto this right here, they're going to be redirected onto the glassware collection which we're going to customize later on. Now to get started with, the, the thing under the announcement bar basically is the header and this is just kind of a, a menu and to actually customize the header you will once again have to select it and then on the left you can get started setting the desktop logo position. So I will just set it at top left and then we can also change the menu. So the menu is basically this right here and if we want to edit it and if we want to add different kind of things we will just have to click onto this button right here. And then we're going to get redirected onto the Shopify settings where we can then, for example, delete different kind of elements. We can also add menu items. So for example, if you want to add a collections tab, we could add that right here by naming these collections and then by linking it onto collections right here. So basically all collections would make sense for this. And now we can just add it onto the main menu and we can just save it if we want to. And now once we're going to um, head back right here and once we're going to save this uh, we can actually see that it got updated and now it's going to say collections right here and we're going to see the two main collections that I currently have listed on my store. Now this is basically just a test store which I've created and you can just upload your own collections right here. Now as for the logo right here we obviously would want to change that and to do that we will have to head over to the left to the theme settings and right here on the logo we can basically change the logo the way we want to. Now the theme settings will basically kind of work as a style guide for your whole website where you can kind of set different kind of default parameters like for example the logo once you're going to change the logo right here it is going to be updated across your whole website and the same goes for colors if you want to update the color schemes and if you want to upload your own custom look colors then you can do that right here and if you for example want to change the font you can also do that under typography and they have many different features that you can all customize which we're not going to get into right now as it 
kind of would be too long for this video. Now to actually upload the logo, you will just have to click right here on select images and then you will have to upload your logo. And if you don't already have a logo, you can just watch my video right here where I'm going to show you how you can generate logos within minutes for completely free. So just add your image onto this. I will just quickly add my logo. And as you can see, once we've actually uploaded it, it is going to show up on the left right here. And if we want to change the logo width, so basically the size, we can also change this right here. And basically one other feature which we can also add, I will actually go with desktop size 120 pixel. One other thing is, is this Fabicon image right here. So basically this Fabicon is going to be the icon that is going to show up on top of all of your pages. So basically this right here. And if you want to edit that, you would just have to upload your Fabicon image right here. Now let's get back to the home page. So I will quickly navigate towards that. And as you can see, now we can actually get started customizing everything. So basically right here on top, if we want to, we can just select this heading and we can then change it to whatever we want. However, we will not do that. Now right here, we can actually set different kind of collections. So for example, for the left, we can actually select a collection that is going to be displayed. So for example, I will just display my glassware select, uh, collection. And then on the right, I'm going to uh, set my surfway collection. So as you can see, like this, they're basically going to have two options when they're going to reach the home page. So they can either look onto our glassware collection or simply just on, onto our surfway collection. Now, as you can see right here under the collections tab, we actually have all sorts of different products that we currently have listed onto our shop. Uh, so basically, if you want to just delete this section, for example, you would just have to select it and then you could just click on remove section on the left and now it's deleted. Now, to actually add different kind of sections to your website, you would just have to head onto the left and on the add sections, you can bas basically add anything that you like to. So for example, let's say that we want to add a multi-row section right here. And as you can see right here, we can then set up everything the way we want to. So let's, for example, say that for this first row right here, we are going to display one of our glassware products. So maybe the tall glass, and then I'm just going to upload the image. Then I'm going to change the heading to tall glass. And then as for the text, you would obviously have to change this. I will not do that for this video. And then we can also change the button label to by me. And then we also would have to change the button link to the actual product page. So in my case, I will just head over to products and then to tall glasses. And as you can see now, this is going to be displayed like this. And when someone is going to click on buy me, they're going to be redirected onto the product page right here. So basically we can do that with all sorts of different products that we have listed on our website. So the next product, for example, would be this dinner plate and we could then edit everything and then align it with another product uh, if we want to. Now we can also add all sorts of other different sections onto our website. Basically you will have unlimited options with this. You can, for example, add a slideshow if you want to, which is going to display all of your products. So if you want to, you can just add that. Now, as you can see, we now added it onto our product page, which obviously isn't ideal. So I will just quickly delete the section. And if we would actually want to add a slideshow, we would just have to click right here on add section to template, and we could then add it onto our home page. Now that's basically it for the home page. Let me now show you how to actually customize the product page. So I will just head over to this tall glasses page, for example, and now we can add all sorts of different sections onto this product page if we want to. So for example, by default, they've actually added this related products uh, tab right here, which I actually think does really make sense to add onto your product page, because if they're going to look at this product listing right here, they may also be interested onto this for, for these glass vases basically. But I will now add another section and to do that, I will just go on to the left. And then as for the add section right here, we can then add all sorts of different things like for example, collapsible content. So sometimes I personally like to add a FAQ section as this collapsible content thing. So I will quickly just add the, edit the heading to FAQ. And then as for the first collapsible row, we now could for example, input something like how long does the shipping take? And then we could, for example, just say uh, the shipping usually takes between one to two weeks. 
and now they can just click onto right here and they're going to see the answer for the question obviously you could get creative with this and depending on what kind of products uh, you would have different kind of faq sections right here now one other thing which is important to customize right here is actually the icon on the left so simply just go go right here and add the icon that is going to suit your question the most for this uh, shipping question i will just add the truck as an icon so as you can see now this basically going to look like this which i think i, I think does look pretty good now that's basically it for the craft team customization as always if you have any more questions you can leave them in the comments down below and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe